Yeah, we're good. You sure? Uh huh. Hey everybody, it's Kentucky Ranger. I'm Anna. Anna and Mama. It's the three amigos. <laughs> everybody else is down for the count this week. And Junebug. And Junebug. Junebug's here. Oh, there she is. Hold on. Oh. Carla, her shoulder's hurting. Sheree, she broke her collar. Hurt not her, her collar. No, her it's shoulder. down the... Her shoulder, not her collar. <laughs> and that's what, yeah, Carla, it's her shoulder. What I keep saying her collar. That's weird. Anyhow, yeah, she broke she broke her shoulder. Uh she's taking care of some dogs. So she's in the living room. She's got this doohickey contraption that runs down into ice water. I don't know. It's all yeah. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, it's that time of the month. It's the universe. Yums. Yum yums. Yum yums. Yum yums. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. She's like, that's right, I'm all in. Look at her. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll tell you if I like it or not. Okay, there's the hint. Home of the cotton top tamarind. You don't want me to hold her? Whatever no, that means. She's okay. I have she's no okay. idea what that means. Cotton top. Cotton top. And there's a, top. a funny little creature. It's like a weird version of Zabumafu. Yeah, cotton top, I, but ain't that what cotton, they call rabbits? No, top? cotton tails. Isn't that tram, tram, tamarind? Tamarind. tamarind. How well, about you? Of course, everyone at home knows because of the title. I mean, is it Madagascar? Maybe. It looks like something that come from <laughs> from. We from are our... going to find out. You ready? Yeah. Drum roll, please. Columbia. Columbia. Oh, it's not oh, close. There. It's Columbia. Oh man, there's something that's going on back. It's got all kinds of stuff. Peru's it's a recipe. Columbia. What's it called? Let's see. Interesting. I don't know what that thing is called. I'm sure that it will probably find out in the in the Duda Key. Oh probably. Yeah. So anyhow, open her up and let's see what is going on this time around. Okay. Oh, another thing. Remember, when you get a Universal Yum, you got all of these games that you can play as a family. I think that is really cool. Family-oriented snacks. I like it. That's cool. So anyhow, read. Okay, what part am I reading? Uh... How many times have you done this? Well, I can't. Sometimes we change it up. Sometimes when we just want to do, like, just the trivia. Yeah. No, we'll do the. Yeah. Uh, we'll do this, the informational. Yeah, and then and then the trivia. Okay, and the information on the front and then the trivia. And then trivia. All right, this sounds good. All right. All right. All right, so un poco de todo, a little of everything. Welcome to Colombia, the country with a little of everything. There's a bit of old ancient civilizations existed in Colombia over 14,000 years ago, and a bit of new. The country has gone through total transformation since achieving independence from Spain. There are 11 different climates in the country, including cold deserts, mountainous ranges, rainforests, and tropical beaches, and all are home to some of the world's most diverse wildlife. There's even a wide-ranging art scene. Both world-renowned painter Fernando Botero and pop superstar Shakira hail from Colombia. Shakira. 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 Your hips don't lie. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never heard. I'm, I'm sure I've heard some of her music. Shakira. Shakira. Stupid things. Stupid anyway, things. and as you'll soon see, Colombia's rich diversity extends to its truly incredible yums, from passion fruit mm. lollipops to lime bacon chips. That sounds good. This country has a little of everything to love. Get ready to be won over by something. So there's tropical, temperate, and chilly all in one. You need to pack, you guessed it, a little of everything for a June trip to Colombia. A swimsuit for lounging on the sunny Caribbean coast where daily temperatures average 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. An umbrella for exploring the lush Amazon region, and it's not called a rainforest for nothing. 
a sweater for walking down for walking downtown Bogota, Colombia's capital city, which hovers around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't Weird. forget your snow boots for climbing the mountainous peaks of the Andes. The Andes. Habla español. Speak Spanish. Like many countries across the globe, Colombia was once part of the Spanish Empire. Though Colombia has been independent since 1810, Spain's influence remains. One example, Spanish is still the most widely used language in the country. So that means Spaniards can communicate perfectly with Col Colombians, right? Not quite. Over the years, Colombians have put their own unique spin on the language. Check out the chart below for some Colombia-specific Spanish slang. Okay. There so, que mas means what else in Spain, but means mas. what's up in Colombia. Yave, is she listening? Uh -huh. We're all listening. That's funny. Yave means key in Spain or nickname for a close friend in Colombia. Yave. Estar tragado means to be swallowed in Spain or to be in love in Colombia. <laughs> okay. Una nota means a note in Spain or Ooh. amazing in Colombia. Una nota. No, 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 no. One note, I, guess. I guess one note or a note. Or a note. A note in Spain, but amazing in Korea. Cool. What, you know, there's also <coughs> a um, like a conjugation for I think it's like we or us, and you say like nosotros in Spain, but vosotros in like South America somewhere. I forget <laughs> which word. That's a thing. It's a thing. What? Just, just all that. She's laughing at something I don't know what it is. Getting the education. And so is June. <laughs> Expressions. Okay. I'm tired, uh, y'all. I ain't had much sleep. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully you can make it through the trivia. Okay. Okay, so number yeah, one. The, the snacks will perk me right up. So will the coffee. Yeah, hopefully. Columbia. Hey, speaking of Columbia coffee, right? Juan Valdez. Okay. He traipses well, up that little trail Columbia. every morning with his little donkey one. I'll pick I love coffee. Columbia. Coffee. <laughs> It's Columbia right, is home. Okay, Columbia is home to over sixty percent of the world's emeralds, gold, rubies, or natural gas. I mean, Columbia also has El Dorado, so I would like, I would want to say gold, gold but yeah. I'm gonna say natural gas just because. Natural gas. I'm gonna say gold. You're gonna say gold. Yeah. All right, where's the thing? Where, where is Towards it? the back. There the it thing. is. It's emeralds. That's my birthstone. Oh, emeralds. I don't know, it says It says, that's right, the crown jewel of Colombia's natural resources is literally a jewel. Colombians have been mining emeralds since 500 AD, but it was during the Spanish occupation that the global industry truly exploded. Today, Colombian emeralds make up 60 to 90 percent of the world market and they're finer than most. Some can even be more expensive than diamonds. Okay. Uh, number two, in Colombia, it's common to drink hot chocolate with cayenne pepper, Anise liquor, cheese, or strawberry marshmallows. I want to say pepper. Liquor. Pepper. Sounds like I've I heard say that. liquor. Nah, I'm gonna say pepper. pepper. It's cheese. Cheese. Who needs marshmallows when you can be adding cheese to your cocoa? While it might seem Do strange what? to you, Colombia's uh, chocolate con queso, uh, featuring chunks of savory white cheese dunked into hot chocolate. Is served at breakfast tables across the country. While Colombians typically use queso fresco or queso blanco, you can also use mozzarella if you're itching to try this delicacy yourself. I think I'm good. Have to, I'm good. I'll save my opinion until I tried it. I if guess it don't knock it till you yeah, try it. It but, might be okay. I don't know. Well, their cheeses also, they don't keep them refrigerated too. That's the thing. Uh, Colombian law mandates that every household can own a Colombian flag. Supposed to go A B C D. A. People are confused at home right now. They're like, wait a minute. A. Every household owns a Colombian flag. Or B. Kids learn Spanish and English. C. TV stations play the national anthem daily. Or D. All adults vote in elections. I feel like that B is a thing. Like yeah. kids learn Spanish yeah. and English. C. Yeah. TV C. stations play the national anthem. What do you say? I don't know. Yeah, the kids learn. 
Its TV stations play the national anthem daily. Yay. Talk about patriotic, in 1995, the Colombian government passed a law making it mandatory for all radio and television stations to play the national anthem. Why am I covering something that's not on I page? I don't have a clue. I don't know why I'm doing that. Hey, look, I, I made the thing. Just okay? concentrate on it. That's what I do. Sorry, twice a day. They do it twice a day. Every day at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. on screens and speakers in Columbia Broadcasting. They used to in this country, but they don't anymore. For the sake of time, only one. Only him. Because there was, there's no sign on only one of the songs like well, yeah, verses. That's true. They never sign off. Typically gets their job, making room for partidos de football, soccer games, and hit shows like Colombia Tiene Talento or Colombia's Got Talent. Talento. I took Spanish in high school, so I can at least pronounce some of these. Okay. Okay. Uh, for... I frankly Taco Bell, so I know. Oh, do you? How to pronounce Spanish words? Because Taco Bell. Taco Bell. See, Carol Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Oh. I want Taco Bell. Because the dog. But what's see, Carol mean? I don't know what you see, Carol. You want Taco Carol. Bell? No, oh, Sue? Sue, like, there's... <laughs> I forget. Let's not get into this international discussion all about stuff. the Taco Bell. Get <laughs> me out. Whatever. <laughs> the town of Arica Taco. I can't say that. Let me move. It looks like... Arkataka? Arkataka. Arkataka. It's something. Famously tried to become an independent state, A. B. Make Shakira its honorary mayor. C. Ban the use of computers. Or D. Change its name to that of a fictional town. Shakira. I'm going to say Shakira. Yeah, they like Shakira, apparently. Shakira, Shakira. That's the second time I've heard her name. Okay. okay, change its name to that of a fictional town. What fictional town? Yeah, 2006, the town of Ara Arakataka tried to change its name to Arakataka Makondo. Makondo is the fictional setting of Gabri Gabriel Garcia Marquez's novel 100 Years of Solitude. Why? Well, Marquez was born in Arakataka and based Makondo on his early life there. After the novel exploded, 50 million copies have been sold in 25 languages. The town's people wanted to commemorate its success, but the initiative failed due to low voter turnout. So for now, the only way to visit Makondo is by picking up a book. We got several people out there cussing at you in Spanish right now. Look, I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> Look, I know I just said I can pronounce stuff, but that one didn't even have any of the things, the the um, the um accents okay. on it. Didn't have okay. any accent marks, okay. so didn't know where to emphasize. That's what it was. That is what it was. Number five, which of these, these unusual species calls Columbia home? A, a three-foot earthworm. B, a bear that looks like it's wearing glasses. <coughs> C, a pink river dolphin. Or D, a 200-foot palm tree. I, I already, dolphin, isn't it? I already I saw I already saw the answer on accident, so I can't tell you. Oh. Until now. Palm tree. It's all of the above. All of the above? Mm -hmm. That didn't they didn't give us all of the above as an as an answer. I have heard the pink dolphin thing though. Yeah. Worms and dolphins and bears, it's oh a my. Big worm. Oh my, it's three foot long. Oh, or maybe you. Red River plants aren't the only wacky species that Columbia has to offer. They've got earthworms as long as your arm, spectac spectacled bears with tan circles around their eyes, That's Amazonian spectacle. river dolphins that turn pink with age, and the tallest palm trees on earth. With all these amazing organisms, it shouldn't surprise you that Columbia has the largest number of endemic species, those only found in one place, of any country on the planet. Oh my. Well, with worms that size, you don't have to go fishing. You just catch a worm. Just catch it and cook through. Yeah, just slice it up and have you some worm steak. Yeah. Columbia's national sport. I accidentally tasted worm once I was fishing. Oh. I was baiting a hook and then I did that. <laughs> I was oh, like, no. oh, fun. <laughs> All right, number six. Columbia's national sport, Tejo, involves A, tossing discs at an exploding target. Tejo. B, driving or diving for rare fish. C, kicking a ball at a cactus until it sticks. Or D, throwing C. hunting knives. What's that? What's that? Which one do you think it is? Tossing discs at an exploding target. I feel like C. that is A. Sit. Sit. I want the B. Sit. I don't know. 
I like I'm, I like kicking the ball at a cactus. That sounds fun. I'm gonna go with A. <laughs> what do you go with? Yeah, A. It's B. Being uh, wait, what? Tossing. Oh, I'm sorry. Tossing discs on an exploding target, which was A. Sorry, I went to the wrong thing. When wow. that's an explosive sport. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. When Colombians set out to have a blast, they really mean it. Tejo, the country's beloved pastime and national sport, is a lot like horseshoes, except instead of throwing a horseshoe at a stake, you throw a metal disc. The Tejo at a pipe rigged with gunpowder packets or mechas. Um, you know, you've scored a point when you hear the loud crack of an exploding mecha. This game sounds like a blast, literally and figuratively. The country is that they slam dynamite with a sledgehammer. That's what got to be one of the most dangerous things Whoa. I've ever seen. Alright, so I Dang. accidentally read off the answers, but hopefully you forgot. Well. Summit. The town of Yoro is famous for its large population of cats being the rainiest place on earth, a statue of a well and baby, or experiencing at least three earthquakes every week. Wow. Earthquakes. So I guess you must have forgot. So it's fine. Okay, so so it's B being the rainiest place on earth. In Spanish, the word llorar oh, yeah, llorar means to cry. So it only makes sense that the small, sparsely populated town of Yoro is considered the rainiest See? place on earth. The skies don't just cry there, they weep. Yoro gets an estimate of 43 feet of rain every year. Yeah. Sadly, unlike the second rainiest place on the planet, the Indian village of Mossenram, the rain doesn't just come during a specific season, it's all year round. Maybe. What are you doing? She got nervous because I put her on the table. Poor baby. Okay. Poor baby. Okay. All right. What's the other one? Okay. Number eight. Which of the following is true about Colombia's Caño Cristales River? A. It produces diamonds. B. It changes color. C. It always floods on Christmas Day. Or D. It contains sharks. I want to say that it changes color. Sharks. I'm going to say it changes For color. Sharks. Water, sharks. I don't know. It changes color. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. Is it? See, she's superior. It changes with the seasons. I guess. When you think September, you think leaves changing color, unless you're from the meadow region. There, it's the river that changes color. The phenomenon is caused by Macarena clavigera. Macarena. Macarena. It looks like Macarena. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> An aquatic plant species on the bottom of the river that turns vivid red between the country's wet and dry seasons. But red is the river's only color. There's also sparkling blue water, patches of vibrant, vibrant yellow sand, and huge green moss covered rocks. It's no wonder this river has been dubbed the liquid rainbow. Cool. All right, number nine, last one. Columbia ranks in the global top two in all the following categories, except A, flower exports, B, coffee exports, C, number of public holidays, or D, amount of ecological diversity. Coffee. C. Number of public holidays, I'm gonna say C too. Yeah. Right, I'm not. Sure, coffee. They. It's there. coffee exports. But I thought that's. Where... I thought that's where all our coffee came from. Mm -hmm. I see Colombian blend deal? all the time. What's up, man? I guess we're gonna figure it that out. It's indeed a trick question. I just, I'm figuring this out. All right, Colombia's coffee might be first in taste, but it's only third in export, behind Brazil and Vietnam. Columbia is second in all the other categories. It's the second largest exporter of flowers. Vietnam. Yeah, I know. Best and only by the Netherlands. It's tied with the Philippines for second most public holidays, and it's the second most biodiverse country on the planet. Yet, it's ten times smaller than the number one country, Brazil. You might even say Colombia is first at coming and second. Well. So, they're, but they're third in coffee weird. exports. Apparently, their coffee does taste good, though. Oh, I remember. What was that? Oh, what? One of it came from the dollar place. I did. I bought a thing of coffee that was from Vietnam. It didn't taste too bad. Okay, oh, on to the snacks. Bad. I can't wait for the snacks. Turbana. Turbana. There it is. Turbana. Ooh, looks like bananas. I think it's banana chips. I love banana chips. It's grocery store. 
It's garlic flavored plantain chips. So uh, that well is not a banana. That's banana. It well, is. Plantains well, are the South garlic. American banana. Yeah, Jumba can't have garlic. Garlic is not good for your dogs. Okay. Neither are grapes or raisins. Love. Plantain chip banana. Read. Oh, okay, I was letting you. Oh, wow. Well. No, no, <laughs> not was, to yourself. I was letting you do your thing. No, so I, I do my thing her. while you read. Okay, okay, sorry. And I usually goof on you while you're reading. Uh, yeah, and so I, I need to. I was gonna let you goof your thing on her. <laughs> bananas and garlic? Ew. Fortunately, these chips aren't bananas, but rather Colombian plantains. Ever wonder what the differences are between them? Don't worry, we have a very thorough analysis. First, bananas grow six to eight inches long and have a thin peel, while plantains grow twice that size and have peels so thick that you need a knife to remove it. Second, bananas can be eaten raw. Plantains must be cooked. They're far too bitter to be eaten uncooked. That's why they're sometimes called cooking bananas. Lastly, bananas are mainly used in sweet dishes, but the plantain's mild flavor allows it to be used in both sweet and savory dishes, such as this snack. The heavy dose of garlic pairs well with plantains, but this is definitely a flavor What's combination garlic? you'd never ever want to try with banana. Are you kidding? garlic. I'm excited to try so, one. Are you ready? Hold on. Yeah, that's where plantains aren't real sweet. I like it. I mean, like garlic chips. You know other popular dishes they use plantains for? The huh. fungo. The fungo? I've seen that on a Guy Fieri show. I get that. Actually, those are pretty good. I like them. It's five ranges. I'm five. What do you mm -hmm. think you'll do? A two? I don't like garlic. I love well, garlic. You're weird. No good. That is good. We have a Bianchi bar. With Carmelo Bianchi. and Mani. And yeah, what's it done? It's a Bianchi bar. Oh, well, it's chocolate. Oh, I can't have chocolate either. Bianchi. Ooh, we get two of them. Beyonce bar. <laughs> it's Beyonce. Okay, chocolate coated caramel and Funny. peanut bar wafer. Yeah, that sounds good. The world's finest chocolate comes from Belgium, Italy, and Colombia. Mm -hmm. Yep, you read that right. The co cacao, co cocoa, cacao. cacao plant is named after Colombia, meaning locals have been enjoying chocolate for centuries. Their favorite cocoa sweet, hot chocolate, which, trivia spoiler, is traditionally served with savory cheese for dunking. Recently, the cocoa craze country has taken its chocolate creations to the international market where they've been met with sweet success. Colombia is now the 11th largest exporter of chocolate and its pr products are extraordinary. Whopping 95% of the country's chocolate has been deemed fine of superior quality and flavor by the International Cacao Organization. Demand for Colombia's high quality chocolate has increased so significantly that many farmers have begun growing cacao instead of traditionally lucrative crops like coffee. That means you're about to have a lot more Colombian chocolate. After you try this chocolate bar filled with salty peanuts and gooey caramel, you'll see that that's a very fine thing. It looks good. I'm excited. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. Mmm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Can't have nothing. Uh -uh. mm. Maybe the next one. Next five one. Rangers. The next one is bacon and lime chips. Yeah, I have five. Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah, this one. Toss this. Yeah, she, can. she can have that. Torsonita? Tostanita lemon. Bacon and lime chips. Bacon. Some might argue it's America's favorite food, but that honor has already been taken by Colombia. Colombia's national food, bandeja paisa. Paisa? Oh, so I think I said this features a generous portion of fried pork Sabor belly. Lemon. Called. Huh? So I'm going to try to do this. Called chicharron. Chicharrones, yeah. Alongside rice, beans, ground beef, chorizo, chorizo, I think, chorizo, yeah. chorizo, plantains, cornbread, avocado, fried egg, and lots of lime. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. This impressive dish was first created in the 1950s for hardworking farmers who required heaping helpings of food to fuel their long work days. So oh, with these, yeah, it looks like bacon. <laughs> it looks like a strip of bacon. So you get some, huh? Yeah, you get some, baby. Yeah. So with these bacon and lime chips, you're getting a taste of Columbia's most beloved and historic cool. meal. 
But you're also getting a Looks taste like of Universal bacon. Young's Legend. Lots of bacon. You see, each time we visited Columbia in 1517 and now 2019, We've included these chips in the box with their fresh citrus tang and overt saltiness. They're always voted the top yum from Columbia. Mm. Maybe we should open <clears throat> an online shop so we can stock them all the time. It could be oh, the next crap. American classic. Did you just drop one? She'll get it later. As you like to get it. Yeah. I'll get another one. I got a backup. She'll one have one. One for June bag. One for June bag. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. That's chicharrones. That's um, pork, uh -oh. pork rinds. You both don't like oh, them. Oh, she don't like them. <laughs> Break her off a little piece. Yeah, hold on. She said it's too big now. Well, June bug? Yes, snob. I think it's good. It's five rings. That's five. What do you think, Mama? Mm hmm. And poor June bug. She's like, nah. <laughs> Crazy dog. No. Okay, well we got those razzles, <laughs> razzle dazzle. <laughs> no, get no reaction from her. Man this looks like pudding chips. Okay, no. Risadas mayonesas. Mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise chip. flavored type chip. No way. I like yeah, mayonnaise. I thought that was a bowl of pudding. <laughs> It's mayonnaise. Oh, imagine if if you thought it was vanilla pudding and got that kind of a taste. Oh my god. Have you noticed? Hey, it must be good. Look, they're enjoying it on the bag. Have you ever noticed <laughs> that, that when you're expecting hey. one thing and get something else, it immediately tastes horrible? Oh, look, the bags they sing. They're like, oh, mayonnaise chips, mayonnaise chips. Hey. Yeah. Did you ever notice that when you try to take a bite or drink of something and it's not what you oh, expected, I know it's gross. it tastes Ugh. worse? Alright. It's, it's the Yuppie Company. <laughs> Colombians yuppies. are known for excellence in many areas, but today we'll touch on only one condiment. Generations of locals have created an accompaniment Texas for. Con Papa 100% natural, made with 100% natural potato. Potato. Croconates? 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 Crunchy. Okay, anyway, they've created an accompaniment for every dish imaginable. Zesty cilantro salsa for empanadas, creamy avocado sauce for fried green plantains, and many, many more. Well, <laughs> you can try your hand at your own okay. condiment creations with the recipes on page 18. As you'll see in the recipes, there's one ingredient that Colombians the... frequently use as a jumping off point for new saucy concoction. Mayonnaise. There have been many variations over time, mixing mayo with ketchup to make their iconic salsa rosada or pink sauce, or adding in handfuls of chopped garlic to make salsa de ajo, which means garlic sauce. Amy and April will love these because they love mayonnaise. <laughs> now they've paired it directly with crispy tater chips, one the most innovative condiment creations we've ever seen. Go ahead, trust the condiment connoisseurs of Columbia, but only if you like mayo, because I like mayo. You know what these would go good with? What? <clears throat> Bologna sandwiches. Oh, oh that was good. <laughs> I mean, April is throwing things at the screen right now. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I like him. Boy, Junebug, you're just a uh, persnickety. Oh, that those. would go awful. Mm -hmm. no. um, bologna sandwich. What you do is make a bologna sandwich, put some mayo, mm -hmm. and then put some of these chips on top of it and squish it. Mm -hmm. Mayo sandwich. I'm sorry, Amy and April. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's five rangers, definitely. Yeah, that's a five. Uh, what? What do you think? For you non-mayo eaters, yeah. it really doesn't have a strong mayo taste to it. it it's not. It's, it's very, not. Yeah, real, real subtle. It's not like you're taking a spoon of mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah you're not that, eating that, mayonnaise. That, yeah, it's not. That would go good on a tomato mayonnaise. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. What's that? Trululu. 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 I knew you were going there. I knew you were going there. I hope everyone knows what that Chuckle. is. <laughs> I might have to have a little clip You'll have to have a a link to what... <laughs> 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 
If you lived in Colombia, you'd often see this chocolate-coated gummy candy at parties. Not just to any party, but one specific celebration. Can you guess what it is? Gummies. Look at the candy's colors. It's not Easter. It's a... Oh, man. Quinceanera. 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 It's when they turn 15. Oh, For Colombians, a girl's 15th birthday is 15. a big deal. It marks her transition into adulthood, which is celebrated with the Fiesta de Quince Años, commonly known as... Quinceañera. 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 That's how I'm going to say it. Yeah, so what does this party colors. entail? First, there's a father-daughter like waltz, history. a dance party, and later in the night, there's a La Hora Loca, or Crazy Hour. When party goers blow whistles and put on masks to keep the celebration going strong. Like at a wedding, one of the highlights of the night is seeing a birthday girl so make an entrance in an elaborate pastel-colored dress. Now you can see the colorful connection. The bright colors of these Trululu candies make them a perfect party snack for quinceañeras. Grab a few pieces and get your own party going. <coughs> she can't have it because it's yeah, not chocolate. She can't have chocolate. It looks like a little Easter egg. Yeah, it yeah. does. Mmm, that's mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. You get like a M&M &M crunch. Mm-hmm. A white chocolate rush and a gummy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you're eating three candies at once. That's a five. If I went to a party like that, I'd just have to take my own bag. <laughs> I like it. It's got a cool aftertaste. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's nice. It's pleasant. Yeah, that's good. That's cheaper. All right. Okie dokie. Max Coco. Max Coco. I think that's this big old. This, this. Wafers with coconut cream filling. Ooh, that sounds pretty I don't good. Think she could eat coconut. Uh, when you think coconut, you probably think of the tropics, Florida, the Caribbean, South America. So it might surprise you that coconuts aren't native to any of those places. Scientists have actually traced their origins all the way to the other side of the world. They believe the Spanish brought an Asian coconut strain to the Pacific coast of South America, and the Portuguese brought an Indian coconut strain to the Caribbean. So which one grows in Colombia? Both. Since Colombia borders the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, the country is covered in both kinds of coconut trees. You need to see it to believe it, we'll do you one better. You can taste it. The sweet coconut cream inside this wafer is made from the blend of Colombia's coconut species, then slathered on four crispy, lightly chocolatey layers of wafer. With this far-reaching roots and incredible flavor, this is one truly universal yum. Oh, it does look good. It's, it looks like the things that you can get at the store. A lot of it, please. <laughs> well, let's see. <clears throat> we'll even it out here. Yeah, that looks good. Grandma gets the biggest pot paste. And it's pretty here. much the same all the way through. Get the biggest through, one. So. No. Ready? I'm fine. Oh, it's good. Mmm. 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 Yeah, it's it. not real strong coconut. Uh uh. I like it's it. It's so good and it's not sick and sweet. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Man. That is so good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, great. I think we're done. We're down to the. That bag. That bag? Uh huh. And then we have the. There's a monkey. Alright, it's called Galitas. Galletas Margaritas. Galletas. Plantain cookies. Mm. So what? Cookies? Plantain cookies. Plantain. Well, it's the monkey and the. I guess those are planets, <laughs> like plantains. Mm -hmm. This is going to be interesting. Plantain cookies. You know the phrase "jack of all trades." Plantains win that award in the fruit world. As one of the most multifaceted fruits on the earth, plantains particularly prove their versatility for Colombian cuisine. The fruits are grilled, roasted, boiled, fried, sautéed, smashed, and stuffed into countless unique dishes. From sweet treats yeah, yeah. like. Like, hold on, I'm gonna have to pronounce this. Sweet treats like buñuelos de platanos maduros, sweet stuffed plantain balls, to savory delights like crema de plan, platano verde, creamy plantain soup. And it's not all locals use every bit of the plant, even wrapping tamales in the plantain's thick rigid leaves. I love tamales, by the way. They're tiny little cookies. 
Um, given the flexibility of this fruit, it shouldn't be a surprise to hear that Colombian is often eaten for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. While the garlic plantain chips you tried earlier are a great lunch item, this variation on plantains is for those with a sweet tooth. If you try both of them back to back, you'll see just how different fruit can taste depending on its use. Jack of all trades, indeed. What else it got in it? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, man. Mm mm. Okay. You wouldn't need it. At least I'm afraid that she would have it. Sugar, margarine. Oh, here you go. Yeah, all that stuff. Just don't give it to her just in case. Yeah. I don't see chocolate, but. Huh. Mm. That's good. It's not bad. It's not sweet. I'd give it a five. Oh, she yeah. Sure eat one because I it's like a. In. No, there's no chocolate in it. Give her. Here. I busted that. Let's see. Give her. There's no chocolate in it. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Oh. No. Nope. Ah. <laughs> so no. Don't want it. Yeah, it's, it's it's like a. Oh, she's eating them. It's like. Oh, no, she dropped it. You dropped it. it. It's like those little cookies you get, like your tea parties or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're they're. It's not get real sweet. Get down and go get it. That's good though. Uh huh. You dropped it. Yeah, that's five rangers. Yeah, what about you, Grandma? Okay. Now, yum bag. Oh, we into the yum bag? Yep, we're into the yum bag. Put something in here or let's get out of there. Okay, so this is called Passion Fruit Bon da, da, da. Bon Bum. Yum bag! Oh. Let's see that in. Uh, a Cartagena. Let me read this first part. It doesn't get more tropical than Cartagena. Located right on the Caribbean coast, it's bursting with vibrant buildings, wide sand beaches, and of course the wide variety of Columbia's truly made tropical flavors. Kick back, close your eyes, imagine the soothing sound of ocean waves, because you're about to try something. Passion fruit, bon bon bun. Then thanks. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, well. Okay. 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 I'm not going to taste bum, bum, bum. It's a passion fruit taste. lollipop with bubblegum center. Yeah. I'll eat the bubblegum. This isn't a lollipop, it's bon bon bum. Interesting name, huh? In Columbia, the word bum is pronounced like boom, so referring to the explosion of flavor inside the lollipop. Mmm. Okay. Obviously, the word boom means something a bit different in the United States, which Columbia, the manufacturer, clearly could discover when they began bum, selling bum, candy bum. there. <laughs> Here. Yeah, bum. Yeah, bum. <laughs> After many blank stares, they changed American labels to bon bon boom. To avoid any bum related bewilderment. <laughs> Normally, we wouldn't dedicate so much time to pronunciation, but it's important oh, for this candy. Ah. It's got spots in it. That's probably sage, you think? Most Colombians refer to any and all lollipops by the name of Bun Bun Bun. Since their debut in 1970, they've become wow. a true national sensation. It's even said that Colombian pop star I'm Shakira keeps them cut in her purse fingers. at all times. Yeah, don't cut your fingers up. Uh, she keeps them in her purse all times. I Shakira has come up a third time. The third time is a charm for Shakira. Yes. Uh, based on the mouth-watering tang of this passion fruit variety, we think it's safe to say her taste buds don't lie. Yeah, her hips don't lie, and neither do her taste buds. You're gonna have to attach that song and tell people that you've listened to it. No, nope, so I'll get copyright. You can provide a link to this. There, that's what I'll do. I'll provide a link. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to get. That's fine. You can <laughs> see in there, there's bubble gum. How many likes does it take to get to the center of a bum bum bum? Yeah. So I just want like a little sliver of a thing. I do too. I don't. I'm not going to eat this thing. I know what bubble gum tastes like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, actually, Ooh. I actually might want the whole thing. Oh, man. I actually might want the whole thing. Here, just a sliver? Yeah, take take it. Oh, please. you got to taste it. you got to. Oh, that's good. Hmm. That's a five. It tastes like uh, um, grapefruit. Yeah. It's passion mm -hmm. fruit. But it's passion fruit. It tastes mm. like grapefruit. Mm -hmm. I think they have that at Starbucks. No, it's dragon fruit. Uh, oh. I get the dragon fruit. Mm. Ooh, that's good. It's sour, but not like very sour. Mm hmm. Right. It's, it's like... Um, uh, oh, tart. it's good. It's like a tarty type of thing. Yeah. Thing. It's so good. That is good. Mm. I want the other sucker. Five range. Now I'll take it home, Carlos. You get that one. Ah, sweet. 
Okay. Because she gets, she's at home. Okay. Feeling down. Super Coco Terudi, Terudi, Dito. Super Coco. Chewy Coconut Candy. Ay Sabor Con Mucho Coco. <gasps> with mucho a lot of chocolate. It's something with a lot of chocolate. Every superhero has an origin story. For Super, the company behind his famous yum, that story started in 1948 in the city of Man Manizales. Back then, here. the company was called Superman and consisted of just eight people making chewing gum and coconut candies. A lot has changed in 71 years. The company gained 1,600 employees, trimmed its name to Super, and added gummies, mints, and chocolate and yeah, chocolates to their product line. But no great superhero can forget their roots. Even after all their success, Super is still best known for their original coconut candy, the one you're holding in your hand, the Super Cocoa. Ooh. This roasted coconut sweet is truly one of a kind with hard texture that slowly becomes soft in your mouth, allowing you to savor the candy's rich flavor the entire time. After you try it, you'll understand why Super produces a whopping 24 million of these sweets every month, using over 300,000 coconuts just to keep up with the local demand. Sounds like this yes. candy isn't just Super, it's also a hot Colombian's kryptonite. Mm -hmm. it's chewy. Chewy. Yeah, it's chewy. Uh oh, it's sticking to the. Sticky. Brand. Oh, it is sticky. Oh, man, I got a napkin on mine. Here. <clears throat> oh, oh, I was just gonna eat it, but here's Grandma's. Did, did Grandma's get her? Here we go. Anyhow, it's solid through whatever that stuff is. I right. focused. Okay. That's good. Oh, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, it's gonna be chewy, but it's weird. Mm. I mean, it's chewy, but it's not taffy chewy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. That's good. I like it. Again, it's <clears throat> real mild coconut. It's not like overpowering, like <clears throat> coconut. So, anyhow. Now, what's the recipe? Yeah, pretty dang good. Well, there's salsa de aguacate, avocado dip, and then there's aji picante, spicy Colombian salsa. Cool. That's the two. <laughs> I might have to. I might be the one cooking her. I'll get her to cook. <laughs> ain't no way Sheree's cooking next Good week. Good move right now. She's gonna be cooked. She just said she's gonna do it. I'll try. She's gonna take one for the thing. Yeah. Maybe you and Carla can team up. That'll be fun. <laughs> and first is. <laughs> because I can't. Salsa <laughs> de aguate. Aguate. <laughs> Something. Something right now. Yeah, we'll make them both. I don't know if we're going to find any plantain chips. A plantain that, chips exist here, don't they? That might require a trip I mean, to Lexington, the Myers, or something. A uh, probably Whole Foods. And then aji picante, spicy Colombian salsa. And it's showing those bacon chips. We're going to save those. There was a nut in the middle of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. actually, wait a minute. No, we'll save it. Those, there's our plantain chips. What am I talking about? So these are the plantain chips for that dip. And then so we got to save these. Oh, okay. So stop eating them. <laughs> We've got our chips for these sauces. That's going to be cool. Okay. Anyhow, appreciate y'all hanging out. I don't know how long we've been on here. Probably too long, that's okay. I'm fine. Huh? I'm fine. I'm not fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, keep Shree and Carl in the prayers, and we're praying for everybody out there. Uh, everybody's doing good. What? Um, try and chew on it. Is the bubble gum like What you got? That cheese, you'll chip your teeth. Yeah, you'll chip your teeth. I'll find one. Anyhow, continue prayers for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Next week, you know what's coming. <laughs> We're going to be making sauce. It's going to be our salsa show. My news with mom, salsa edition. I got to tuck a tie. I think that guy's Russian. I know. It doesn't matter. You, you brought him up. I did. I think what we'll do is we'll do the sauce. So we'll, we'll, we'll have Shakira music playing in the background. <laughs> oh, no, it's still live. Whatever. That's, That's my phone. And how y'all? <laughs>
take care and we will see you next Monday for the that's cool we're gonna have a twofer on that one mm -hmm. looks pretty cool anyhow God bless everybody God bless. we'll see y'all next Monday bye, bye.